Today I'm going to be talking about leprosy history and what this condition really is. Now before I get started, down below you'll notice there's a link where I'm giving away a free video based guide on using various supplements and different types of herbal treatments out there. Now leprosy, or Hansen's disease, is a bacterial infection that grows very slowly. Now in fact it can take two to ten years before any type of signs or symptoms even appear on somebody. Can you guess why this disease is called Hansen's disease? Well, a doctor from Norway called Armour Hansen was the first to see the germ under the microscope and he named it after himself. This is a huge finding because prior to this many people felt this ailment was called caused from angry gods, possibly as hereditary, or who knows, some other strange reason why people even got this sickness, maybe a curse. Also, nobody even knows how long the bacteria has been really plaguing mankind, but it's been a very, very long time. The first verified uh, case of this, oldest case of this, DNA samples were from a tomb in uh, Jerusalem, dating back to around 1 to 50 um, common era CE, which is the same thing as AD, after death of Christ. And there's BCE, which is before common era, and that's the same thing as BC, before Christ. Okay, totally off topic. Basically, it's for people that don't believe in Christ, say that, or who knows. But anyways, it's a long time ago. <laughs> so, if a person was diagnosed with disease, you know, back in time, they were pretty much shunned from society. Um, pretty much se separated too, which is horrible. And the worst part about it was sometimes these skin lesions would appear on somebody's face and skin, so it's kind of hide. It was tough to hide the fact that you had leprosy. Now, after Doctor Hansen's discovery, um, you know, from the early 1900s to 1940s, many doctors would inject something called Chilumraga nut um, into patients that had this ailment. The remedy did work for some patients, but uh, one, of the, one of the big drawbacks was that um, you know it was pretty painful, and over the long term, nobody knew what nobody knew, nobody knew what this was going to do to somebody. So about this time, you know, the medical community started to experiment with different remedies and trying different ones out. And a, break, a breakthrough occurred in 1950s. Around this time, a drug called Promenin successfully treated the illness, but there's some bad news with it that um, well. Quite a lot of injections, very painful, and next something called the Dapsin pills that work much better. But there's also a drawback too, unfortunately. Um, big problem, it's very similar to what happens to antibiotics. Can you guess what the problem would be? Well, if you take antibiotics a whole bunch, then the bacteria become resistant to it. And it doesn't work as effectively. The medical community has seen this with gonorrhea. Um, some women actually have it and you know, it's hard to kill off sometimes, so you have to use different things. So that was the big thing was, well, the, the bacteria became resistant to this drug called Promen. Um, okay. Nowadays, there's something called MDT, multiple drug treatment, which is a combination of three drugs, possibly more, with the best approach to find this thing off. Now, apart from these drugs, it doesn't hurt for someone to really build up their immune system to defeat bacteria that's bad as well as viruses. There's a ton of ways of doing this, but like I talked about earlier, there's a lot of herbal remedies as well as supplements that could really, really improve someone's immune system, which is just great overall. Now, the big drawback with a lot of these supplements and herbs as well, I mean, it's kind of confusing, right? Some of these products are confusing. Also, the industry is unregulated, so it is easy for companies to go out there and make these crappy products. So, to make your life a little easier, because life is complicated enough as it is, I've created this whole video guide, like I talked about, um, to really give you some tips on identifying good products, shopping for them, what to look for, what to avoid, talks about other alternative health ideas, like detoxes, and all kinds of other funky stuff. Um, if you're worried it's going to cost a whole bunch of money, well, the cool thing is it's completely free. So, why not? You can learn a lot of great things in a short amount of time. Just click on the link uh, directly below this video, and uh, I hope this video might have helped a couple people out there. Uh, I really appreciate your time. Uh, as always, please leave a comment with any thoughts or feedback you have. I really appreciate that, too. 
And until next time, uh, take care of yourself and cheers. Bye.